Okay, hi. So I just uploaded um this the song of the week. Apparently we have one. And I'm I'm stopping the zodiacs. I mean I'm gonna go right back to it, but normally I would bounce right back into like my next zodiac. Um I will tell you there's something about that song and I couldn't even listen to it. I almost cried, okay? So I don't know if that means someone's yearning, someone's really upset. Um, I don't know if you're exchanging music. Um, it's probably definitely symbolic. Um, it's weird. I uploaded a Lotus and I have a Lotus here and I was like, oh, cool. That was a good move to, I normally do like hats or something. And um, so there's something with a Lotus right now too. That's strange. I mean, the Lotus is a, it's a very symbolic week, guys. Okay. Um, I will tell you that I wanted to do a full moon and Sag reading for you because this is a beautiful shift. And I, I think you're going to be extremely emotional, shocked. It, it's like a shock wave. Okay. Um, in a very positive direction and it might happen right around the full moon or like right after within 10 days for sure why it's potent but it's most potent now but um I don't necessarily I'm not ready to do a moon read um and I was just going to but it, it's it's just the vibes I am getting um through music right now it, it's it's a very sweet, sweet energy, so you might want to put your guard down. I, I don't know. You know, I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, see? We will be together again. Yeah, see, that's a big message. Um, Like, I, and like honestly, I was literally just saying that. Like, can't, you got to, like, maybe put your guard down. Um. Oh, it is so strong. It, it's beautiful, okay? Um, but strong, strong messages with that song and whatever's happening with this this full moon. I know it's a full moon, guys, right? But, like, this is different. I feel like there's something going down secretly or not even a secret love. Maybe someone's not telling you the extent, but, like, it's, it's way bigger than that. All right. So I don't know if you're stressed out about a situation. That would be stress because right now we're talking about love. That song came through and we're talking about the full moon. Okay. So make sure you're getting plenty of water and stuff like that. Judgment call. See, that came in in cancer too, making a judgment call to go in a new direction, maybe freedom. Everyone has their own path and their own challenges because to me, this would be a challenge. But I do feel like it's something you're going to push through. Okay. Um, I almost just got pulled to my moon deck and you know what? I actually have, that's my moon. Look at, it was a gift. I love it. Well, what I showed you before, like with the lights not on, you can, um, can't really see it now, but it's got like, see how you can see it briefly. It's got like the craters. Um, so we're just going to put that here. If my moon deck is right here, I am going to pull you a message. Is it in this one? Hmm. It's not, but I've got my other one right underneath this thing. This is like weighs a ton. These are perfect for cards. I they're for Christmas, Christmas bulbs. But um, here we go. Moonology. Um. Ooh. This is a deck in there that's calling to me. So you know what? Oh my God, Mingya. This shit's so heavy. I feel like it would bust this little table not gonna lie oh my goodness throwing my damn back out over that 
so let me I'm gonna definitely come on and do a moon read for you guys there's no question I got there's so much I want to tell you especially with the eclipse you can actually physically watch it it's not gonna hurt your eyes this year all right so it's, it's and you don't got to be worried about being sucked in a void either so this is is this is deep it's it, and it's sad you guys usually sad is that I mean they can be deep I don't, full moon eclipse, that's exactly what we're having too. Did you see it? It was just there. I don't know. Let me get one more. We're having the red, the blood moon. Um, damn. That's not a coincidence if that's on top. I got the goosebumps. Okay. Conclusions. Oh my gosh. That was in cancer. So it's funny. I, I, I jumped to this, to this. Okay, I still want another one. Conclusions. Okay, attuned to the moon. This is what's meant for me and it will not pass me by. Additional meaning of this card. Doors which slam shut now will not reopen. It is time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free. Meditation, free of karma. The full moon eclipse. Just like that, the door slammed shut. And we, we had that in cancer. Okay. Just like that, the door slammed shut. If you pull this card, it suggests that the situation you're talking about is in reach or peak or is just done. And this is now how things, this is now out of your hands and things will come to light. What you're expecting now is your soul signed up for a way for you to learn so you can evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know this is the right time. As hard as it may be, forgiving somebody for what they did could be the key to resolving your next situation so it has a more positive outcome. It doesn't make it right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. And I'm telling you, I saw something in that read. I think everybody should go watch Cancer. Um, the last two weeks was Libra. But Cancer's already uploaded. I guess there's a reason for that. Um, wow. Just go watch the read. It makes complete sense. Okay. Definitely time to get back on track. And this is somebody who... This is like, um, it's almost like a perfect match because it just pulled me again to, to be with you. But it's, it's soft. It's sensitive. Like I'm saying, like, I think everybody needs to put their guard down. Even though I was saying it, like, I couldn't let you get that close to me. Um, I feel like it's, it's two individuals. And the longer you hold on to this and worry and judgment in this challenge, the harder it's going to become. I don't necessarily think you're worried about judgment. You know, um, have faith your dreams are coming. Have faith in your dreams. And this is like the whining, the waxing. So this is like right after, okay? So have faith in your dreams. Funny, it's the first card. It's like right after. It almost reminds me of a picture of an eclipse. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is definitely taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of your story. Whenever it's happening now, it's just a step along the way. As you say in self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end, which is true. And if it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the waxen crescent moon card reminds you that you must still keep going towards whatever it is you have in mind right now, and especially what you want. If you can't take the practical steps, speed time meditation on your question you're asking about will allow your higher self to develop information about your next step. Overall, this card suggests every reason to be hopeful and a positive outcome of your situation is asking you to keep having faith. I said that in the read somewhere or in this read. Oh no, it was the other one with stress. Okay. 
um, attuned to the moon, which is like affirmations. I am focused on what I want. Additional meanings of this card. Just because you can't see your dreams right now or it's just like right there, it doesn't mean that they're not manifesting. Do not look back. Stay focused and move fo move forward. Be patient how things unfold. Dig a little deeper to find that inner courage. Basically, it's, it's time to put your foot down and start to chase what you want is what it's saying, okay? So, again, I will come back and definitely do um, a, a full moon read. There's no question. But, I, I mean, I couldn't shake this message for you guys. So, I'm, I'm glad that, um, that I, I delivered this message. And it's it's right on target guys so now be very realistic here okay um if you know you're in a karmic situation and you know yada yada be realistic this is something that there is definitely fear attached to this i'm just gonna read um yeah, see, be realistic. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and sag. I just want to read this real quick. If you're thinking too much of the details, you're going to be in a dilemma. Fretting over one thing can make you counterproduce or perhaps all the talk and no action. This card is a reminder while it's a good thing to go through some things, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you need to do to get out of this current situation? Do you need to have more positive thoughts? Are you counting your blessings that are actually in front of you? This card also reminds you to take a few risks and go with the uncertainty when it's called the journey of life. Try to be open-minded because the universe could surprise you. Attune to the moon. Take time. Take an adventure, a mini break. Additional meanings of this card. This situation may come around because you've been distracted. Be confident without being overconfident to win, okay? Have you shown that you care, question mark? If not, it's now time. Find the balance between speaking your mind and saying too much or not enough, okay? Um, so it actually makes sense for me as a reader, everything that I'm saying and why that Sag fire to go after and do it, looking at the bigger picture makes complete sense. I think because of the eclipse and certain stuff and where the planets are tra um, transitioning and all, like, it makes sense that I would feel more of the water. And to me, as a reader, I know Pisces is ruled by the moon, but to me, it's Cancer and Pisces are ruled by the moon, okay? So, to me, it's, it's really Cancer, but in, in the tarot deck, it, it's, it varies with astrology, believe it or not, with that one, but... um that makes sense okay so this is why because Sagittarius is very adventurous this it, it is time to take a damn adventure okay stop the big picture worldwide and see beyond the backyard it's not just it's about having fun and not just overworking and being prepared to go into uncharted ter territory it's the big ideas versus the no details no matter when you draw this card, it encourages you to look at the bigger picture. So, you know, um, it, it's just, it's a strong message that needed to come through, guys. Okay, so, again, I, I still feel like there's messages for you, and I know it will come out in the full moon um, reading. But there's something about needing to be, have sensitivity. What am I looking for? Please be careful of your health. You're stressing yourself out. <clears throat> um, be clear about what you desire and focus upon them. Outdoors, go outside, fresh air, reconnect with nature. Nature relieves stress, okay, and creative ideas. Spiritual understanding. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols. I said this. Please go watch Cancer. There is something incredibly symbolic about this week. And, like, you don't even have to be, like, it's it's symbolism, you know? 
Um, you don't even have to be spiritual. Or it doesn't matter. I believe in um, anything symbolic or science, but I'm telling you, I, I know it is. It's like a gateway. So I don't know what that's about getting. Um, but see, I'm bringing you esoteric information. And in Cancer, it was... I almost like I almost feel like cancer is like the read of the week. In cancer, it was um, the world goes round. It was loneliness and um, just to be the one to be with you. When it's true, it's true. The fake, the twist of both of you. So come on over. Look at love fell out right there. I, I just looked at this and in the beginning of the reading, I was like, does anybody know like the world goes around and reminded me of a cartoon because the world's right there. This is like the five of pence, right? But this is what this was saying to me is I can't change the past. All right. Time to move forward. It talked about that in the card, especially with the eclipse. Um, but I just, I was looking at it like this and it, I was just like, there's something so symbolic this week and I love symbolism, but like, this is different. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you're going to see something and it triggers you in a positive way. Um, I felt it. So I don't, I don't know. It could be tribal sign. I, I just thought of somebody getting a tattoo. Or just something symbolic, you know. I just thought of like a honeybee. So you can put a honeybee on you, a butterfly. It's, it's, Lonnie's got a butterfly. A little tiny one behind her ear. It was her first tattoo. Um, and I literally looked at her and I was like, well, how is that symbolic for you? Because you don't understand. You're now stamping yourself with something extremely symbolic. And you need to be prepared to go through a massive transformation. Because girlfriend, you're 18 and you just put a butterfly on your ear. You're sending a huge message, right? So there is something here. So I don't know if it's a tattoo. I, I don't know. I got the goosebumps. It's just very symbolic. Maybe you just need to go outside, fresh air, relieve stress. So I, I know there's some stress going on, okay? Be clear about what you want and go after it. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols. Some of you with esoteric information, it, might, it could be in your dreams, depending on where you're at spiritually. Um, you, you'll be able to understand esoteric information, but at the bottom of the deck, you are safe. Okay, So it's just a big message. Um, I felt the need to come on and, and talk to you. I, see, again, I didn't really get it. It's okay. So it just talked about the health and esoteric. It talked about that, but it didn't give me a clue for that. This to me is like, you need to be more sensitive with someone or you're dealing with someone who's extremely sensitive, but you would never know it. And I'm not saying to cater to anybody. And I definitely think your guards need to go down. I got that mess. What the frick was that? No, oh, cat just jumped. That was a huge jump. Remind me of Batman, like a cave, a cap. A, no, uh, I almost said cult. Uh, cloak. It's like times to fly, but it was like Zach, so I don't know. I think you're sitting in Zach energy. But, but see, that would make sense. But you got to take yourself out of that. And that makes sense, too. Um, this wouldn't be the right deck per se, I wouldn't think. The answer is no, but I was asking myself something and I looked. Devotion. Maybe somebody had to wrap up something family related or... There's like a lot of weight. I just saw the Ten of Wands. This is somebody that needed to, yeah, see, bound. This is somebody who needed to wrap up something karmic or a family situation that weighed you down or them down. Whether you're, you want to go out? Whether you're aware of it or not. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you can be totally aware of the dynamics and others of you would be like, wow, you get out of a space or out of your head and, and for a second you're like oh my gosh what was I doing why was I holding myself back definitely go watch cancer because that message came through there too 
so yeah, I couldn't let you get close to me. There was it was either a judgmental thing, the family didn't want you with somebody, somebody gave somebody bad advice, religion, belief, there's something. That's now now all being linked together with whoever this message is for. So I don't know if you just was fixated on that, like you had to do that. I couldn't let you get to where X, Y, Z. But this is almost like somebody who just will be together again, like kind of arrogant or smug, but that inner knowing. So this tells me that someone put something on hold. I just got pulled to money. Someone chose. Like, this is, I'm confused. So, this person was confused. They either chose money, work, or family. It's almost like they couldn't find the balance. I don't know whose message that's for. Someone couldn't find the balance, so they just chose one thing. See what I'm saying? One thing instead of finding the balance. Because now I feel like it's like, deep inside I know you feel it. So you just don't let that go. Right? So I, I don't know if there's like a twist of fate, a twist like all of a sudden like, you know what? I, I'm not going to let this situation get in the way someone's extremely stressed out but there's something with belief here with family and going in certain directions but to me this is you also making your own judgment call but you let something stop you and I don't think it was well it could have been family but not current family past family or grandparents or parents it is still linked to family, but it's see it's something karmic that needed to be wrapped up. Cause I, I do feel that. And I know it's Mercury, but there's something about this that feels different than just like the average connection, guys. There's something like already rooted. There's a past life here. It just pulled me to my past life deck. There's Definitely a past life here. Yeah. It's got to be so strong. Yeah, see the lovers in the sun. I don't even know if I want to dig into this deck right now, but there's um, there's military here. Look at that, and it's a military uniform. Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups. We will be, yeah, see, I don't know if you made a promise in another lifetime. Or it's just that inner knowing. It's the Two of Cups. The two of you know. See what I'm saying? It's a very powerful connection. And someone just deaded it. Because... They need to focus on other things. Well, they chose to focus on other things is the message I'm getting. And I don't necessarily think it was family like that. I think there's something family intruded, if that makes sense. I don't know where that's coming from. So if you have kids and all that, I'm not being an asshole like they intruded it. It's not like that. I feel like it was more work or health or something. You chose one over the, you chose either family that didn't agree with your choices or money over love. And it's like, you just, sh you just shut it down, not even notice. That's the shitty thing. Like there was no notice. Uh, you may have given an, an excuse, but it's like, you didn't even give someone a heads up, even though it was already on your brain. But now you have an energy that's going to be extremely determined to come back around and I really feel like this family you were probably devoted to like a current family or your generational family but then there's outside family that didn't agree and it's stressing you out so please stop doing that you're stressing yourself out because at the end of the day it's about you 
then apparently this other person and then everything else will fall into place. Everybody dies at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't know why they fucking gave, let me deliver that. That's fucking weird. Everyone dies at the end of the day. At the, at the end, everybody dies, right? So you want to be happy or you want to stop your happy because of what somebody else said or their own opinion. It, it's, it's conditioning. It's how you're raised. I can see like the hierophant sitting there, but yeah, it's not sitting there. My intuition is just telling me like it just like was like dead. Yeah, see the tower. Now the universe is stepping in because you didn't take charge. It is the rise of the phoenix, too. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like the observer with the page of swords. Definitely go check out Cancer. The six of swords is, is learning. Yeah, see, it's like, I don't know what you were holding on to. What you know, something held you fear like there's something here, but the universe is like, no, nope. they're not gonna let you sit too much longer. See, it's time to have the strength, the courage to push through something. <laughs> It said like you picked up and left in a past lifetime, too. What is that? It's like you did the same thing. So I don't know if it became karmic. I don't know. The universe is making sure right now because what you're doing is just watching and observing instead of moving. And the tower, the tower comes first. Okay. So the tower is going to make sure you move. Like that's telling me like all hell's breaking loose in your life right now. Because you already had an opportunity to make moves and you didn't. And it's also telling me you made the wrong judgment choice at one time. And now it's like you're paying for it in a way. Hmm. Okay. So, oh, again, it's pulling me to this. Like, I just, I feel like you need to be more sensitive or more alert, more understanding. I'm, I'm not telling you guys to cater to anything. Um, use your gut, use your intuition on that one. You are dealing with someone, I don't know, past the knot, just shut, just shut it down so quick. I don't know. I, again, it could have just been an excuse. It could have been, it stressed them out too much. The family was stressing out. Somebody, you know, it is, somebody stopped something. But now this, the universe coming and be like, this, this is enough. This is silly. Time's out. Like, you got to move. Like, let's go. Even if it's slow, let's go. You got to stop making moves. It's also telling me it's going to play takeaway. And be careful with your health because that's like laying you out for you not to be able to go to work, not to be able to go to these functions or do this. Overworked. And it, it's going to catch up because you're not making the right choices. You're not making the right choice for you when you see it so clearly see when you're not when you know something so clearly but yet you're not doing anything and I do feel like you are working on something with the cancer read I did because this is linked to the cancer read but this is a prime example when you're not doing something when you know when you just know that's knowing the truth that's blunt on like you just know and you don't do it, and you're putzing, and you're not moving, this, this, yeah, this is a prime example. This is the universe being like, bam, what are you doing? Why on earth are you doing nothing about this situation? What are you doing? It's, it's like, it's so clear. 
to you. So if you don't get a move on it, the universe is really going to take you out in different ways. And I, I hope some of you don't feel threatened by that. For those who are spiritual, you know exactly what that means. Like, they take you out. You know, they will lay you out. And they're about to lay you out if they haven't yet. But it looks like you're about to make moves. You can't shake this, is the message I just got. You can't shake that feeling. Just to be the one to be with you. Guys, maybe this is someone you don't know, and I swear you had a, a past life with this person, and when it comes in, ooh, it's going to click. It's, it's going to rock your world with the tower. This dynamic is so strong. It's different. You know how like in the past I'm like, oh, you know, you love this one, you let it go. It's catalytic and like this is different. This is like soul throbbing. This would bring out insecurities, um, fear. Maybe that's why someone shut it down and they focused more on something else. Because they just thought it was a priority. Because this has to be shaken. It needs to be woken up again. I feel like you had the opportunity to wake it up and something got in the way. And now this is like nothing's going to get in the way. For whoever that message is for. Okay. Um... I don't know if someone's waking up. I just was about to get real deep into that and I'm stepping out of it. It almost just put me into a trance. Um, so I don't know if it was too smart to step out of it that quickly. See, that's a message for you. You stepped out of something too quick. So I don't know if you like in trance-like energy right now, dreamy energy. I wouldn't say illusionary. And it could be very symbolic. You're like, this makes no sense. And so if it's not health and like tummy troubles, because I want to say tummy troubles because the moon rules emotions and emotions are ruled by your gut. Tummy troubles, health works its way up. Starts in the gut, works its way up. It goes right to your soul, your heart, and then it will mentally affect you. So you've had time. And you still didn't do anything. You know what I mean? So, bam, here it comes. But it, see how what I'm saying? It's like a good tower moment that's coming in this time. What else was I saying? I was talking to myself. I was in the trance. You stepped out too soon. Yeah, you stepped out too soon. You stepped, like... Some of you are dealing with somebody who did let ego and pride and, and, and shit get in the way. Family scenarios, other people's judgment. Could have been an addiction here with health. But see, this is what I'm saying. If somebody had the inner knowing and they still chose to go about it their way instead of flowing with the situation. you got to flow with the universe, guys. At the bottom of this video... Actually, I'm just going to kind of repost it. I I saved a video. It's the 12 universal laws. And this you didn't let something flow. It's like, I feel like you broke like six laws. I don't know what that's about. I will post the the video below this video in the description box about the 12 universal laws because it's catching up to you. You stopped something for the wrong reasons and you knew it was wrong and you did it anyway. Does that make sense? Anywho, 
I feel like it's going to be a good week. See, again, that's driving me nuts. I feel like it's going to be a great week, a, a good full moon. There's advice there that there's something like, I don't know, is it second chance? Is it you're dealing with someone? Yeah, see, it's unconditional. Self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, affection. Affection, attraction, it's unconditional. What you have with somebody is unconditional. It's not why did I fall in love? How did I fall in love? Why do you love me? Fuck that. It doesn't matter. The connection, whoever this read is for that connection, you don't need why. So there's too many things why. And then you have the snake, competition, clever, malicious woman, the other woman. So there obviously there could have been some type of interference. Okay. Um, and I just got the message that someone's figuring that out now. Okay, so, and why? Because the universe is coming in to show it, to show somebody what they held on to when they shouldn't have, when they let something like this go. That's crazy. And it's not the first time you guys let it go. Hmm. Just to be the one to be with you. That had to have hurt. How do you love like that and let it go? Uh, oh, my gosh. See why I'm saying it had to have hurt? It's that sensitive energy. It had to have hurt you, them. It, that's crazy. It's crazy. You have you found a connection like that and you just was like, nope. It's like swipe or no swiping. Someone like swiped it from you, but you allowed it. Damn. It's going to get deeper and deeper. Um, So I'm just, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. This, I just wanted to come on short message. Again, there's great big like bear, bear, bear hug. Mm. Some can feel your soul. Like when you guys hug. Like it's. The is I don't know if you exchange energy. Oh, that message came up in the um the Patreon. All right, so if you guys are new, okay, I have Patreon. Every Zodiac and read. Um, there's 13 a week. If I do a, a big collective read, I would normally uh, do an extended. It's two dollars a week. The link is below. You can get 13 videos for two dollars a week. The extendeds, okay, and that that came up in the extended. It was like a transaction. Someone looks at, <laughs> it's almost like it's not funny, but somebody looks at some type of relationship as like a business transaction or something. It's, I, I don't know. It's, it's like an exchange. It's an energy exchange. That's where the big bear hug is coming in. It's like an energy exchange. It is probably scary. Someone probably backed off too because it was scary. There was insecurity. Someone didn't know how to handle that type of energy, that type of aura, it was, it's, it's a different type of love. It's unconditional. That's like never really experiencing that. It's beautiful. I hope you guys, if you end up together, I hope you have years and years and years and years and years and years and years of love and bliss and, and happiness. I'm not kidding. And if you learn lessons later in life and you only have 20 years, make the best of it. If you have 30, 40, make the best of it. You, you know, you, you never know. You could have fell in love and you know someone's terminally ill and you, you got nine months or you got four years. Make the best of it. it is. <laughs> I'm telling you. Once you have that again, don't you dare let that go. I love you guys. I hope you have a phenomenal week.